So here we are on the hills just above Hebden Bridge. Uh, in the background to my left you, you will see uh, a small farm with uh, surrounding fields. And on that land uh, we're going to be carrying out some natural flood management. Uh, you might just be able to see in the background uh, an excavation that's taking place. That will be an attenuation pond when it's completed uh, with around about 400 cubic metres of capacity. That will be available to uh, store water during the storm and hopefully slow the flow to the river system. So alongside the attenuation pond we will be doing some tree planting. Um, our trees are very good at uh, intercepting rainfall and absorbing water so that's part of the project. Uh, and as we're in the middle of the coronavi coronavirus restrictions just now uh, we're kind of restricted on who we can use to do that planting so uh, we'll be using my family to do that who I will introduce you to shortly. This is a closer look at the attenuation pond we saw from the top, um, under construction. And we can see uh, quite a rough excavation at the moment, but this will be a nice bowl shaped pond when it's finished, with a capacity of around three to 400 cubic metres. Um, it intercepts water in the corner from a, a stream that runs very, very rapidly in, in during a flood. Uh, and also the runoff from this land will be uh, channels that, that, that pick up the runoff and discharge it into the pond and we've also in intercepted quite a few land drains as we've been excavating this pond um, so all that water will be attenuated slowed down stored for a while filtered and then let go under in a controlled fashion Behind me is the completed attenuation pond, finished with topsoil and awaiting grass suit. We've done a survey that shows us that the storage capacity for this pond is 350,000 litres of storm water. Behind me is the inlet channel, which lets water in from a nearby stream. It passes through to the outlet pipe and returns the water to the same stream. This project, which took two weeks to build, is one of several funded by Calderdale's Natural Flood Management Scheme. To learn more about this scheme, go to slowtheflow.net.